Hello everyone, Sam from Miniclip here and today I'm going to be playing Beast Quest. Now if you've watched some of our videos already you probably know a fair bit about Beast Quest but if not I'll fill you in. It's based on a very popular series of children's books which have been running for about a decade now and there's over a hundred. They're huge. If you haven't heard of them, odds are a young person in your life probably has. We're very happy to be making the official Beast Quest game which is launching very soon. Now, our game is based on the first series of Beast Quest books, which has six massive beasts. We're including the first two at launch, and the next four will follow in the weeks ahead. The first world you unlock is the Snow World, featuring Nanook the Yeti, but today I'm gonna to be showing you the second world, Sepron the Sea Serpent. So, let's dive right in. So, what have we got here? Explore the beach and its surroundings. So. If we tap this book under the map here, it'll open our quest log. So at the moment, it's simple. Explore the beach. I'm playing as Tom here, and this is his friend Elena, who will follow me and help out when I, invari when I invariably mess things up. Now, you can see I'm tapping on this button on the left here to walk forward, and then swiping with my right thumb to move the camera it kind of apes a dual stick setup uh, without actually having two sticks. I, it's quite a nice system. There's a crab. Die crab! Ah. Oh, and tapping on the little thing left by the crab gets you gold and experience. Ooh. So, oh, first things first, let's take a look around. There's Tom reminding me that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, what can we do? If we tap on the map in the top right, it'll open a larger map that we can see there's a, a large world to explore and the exclamation points are the places where I'm supposed to go to finish the quest. Uh, what else have we got? That brings up the menu, that's the top button there. World map, magic store, blah blah blah, easy enough. Ancient chest costs five gems to open. And Arduro's chest costs 70 gold. Now. Gold is the currency that you'll find around the world easily. You'll get it from defeated monsters, from tapping on things in the environment. Gems are rarer. You'll find them in chests occasionally. Uh, but yeah, make sure you hold on to your gems because they're quite rare. You'll notice I've got 751 of them at the moment, but that's because I'm playing on the developer account. You won't have 751 gems when you start the game, so. The second button here is our achievements. Complete three quests, collecting coconuts, etc, etc. Unlike achievements in a lot of games, completing these will actually get you rewards from gold to experience to gems. So it's well worth trying to complete them. The third and final button is your inventory. Now this is an RPG, so obviously we can upgrade our inventory to make it better, give ourselves more armor, give ourselves more attack. However, because we're only level one at the moment, we can't upgrade it just yet. So we'll leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's walk around and see what we can find. There's a shell, let's tap on that, and hey, more gold. So, this is our base camp by the way, if ever Tom runs out of health, well if he gets low on health, we can rest here, well, we could rest here if I had no health, but we'll ignore that for now. So we'll head up here, this is a much nicer part of Avanti. Let's head over here. This place is really great, I agree Tom, I agree. That's the thing, for a, for a tablet and, and phone game, the scale is almost unprecedented, I think. This is, uh, this is more akin to a real full price console game in the huge open world and the amount of content involved, and we're giving it to you for free. It's, uh, honestly, it's probably the best game we've ever made here at Miniclip, and it's certainly the largest in terms of scale, development, all of that. Just collecting some gold. Head through here, this should be the last checkpoint. There does not appear to be any danger here. Famous last words. Sweeping vistas. Oh no Tom, look, the piranha pirates are attacking the camp. Piranha pirates. Let's drive them off. Now, if there's one thing I've learned in my years as an adventurer, it's that pirates are bad and piranhas are bad, so when you combine the two, it's quite bad. Anyway, let's take a look at the combat. So this is where the Infinity Blade influence comes in. You'll notice that the monster is attacking me, and he's hurting me, and my life is going down. So there's a few things we can do. 
I can tap on these arrows to dodge. I'm not doing it very well at the moment, but give me a second. Dodge like so. Or I can use the shield here by holding down the shield button and that will block his attack. You'll notice it removed one point from my shield, so it's down to nine, and now it's down to eight. So when my shield runs out of points, I can't block with it anymore. You'll fight harder creatures later on that will take multiple points of, of shield durability from you if you block an attack. So you need to be careful to only block the attacks that you have trouble dodging because uh, yeah, your shield will run out. You can repair it obviously, but if it breaks in the middle of a fight, that's not much good. Now to attack that, there's a couple of things we can do. I can either tap the attack button like this, or you can actually swipe on the screen like so to attack in a specific direction. Uh, it's totally up to you what you do, one isn't better than the other. Uh, if you feel like just mashing your way through it, you can just tap the button. One out of three. Okay, victory. So, I've got 25 gold and 35 experience, and you actually have to tap on them to collect them, like so. Okay, you'll notice the coconut gave me a bit of HP back as well, which is very useful because I got hit way too much just then. In my defense, I was showing you all how it worked. I'm actually really good at games. Let's look at the map. Ooh. So there's three more red dots and they're all over on the other side of the beach. So let's go finish them off first. Ah, okay, so I only need to defeat two more. Get a couple of coconuts for some delicious health. I wish eating in real life healed you of all ailments. I'd be the healthiest guy alive. Ah, another piranha pirate. Hands off my stuff, you goons. Lock, attack! Dodge, attack! So, yeah, you need to be careful. If you just attack like crazy, you won't be able to dodge when you need to. And uh, you'll get hit like I did just there. So be careful to time your attacks and make sure you stop with enough time to dodge before the enemy hits you back. These things I'm fighting right now are quite easy. They're only level one. It will get a lot harder. And we will soon be fighting multiple enemies at once, which is where things get really tricky. Dear Tom, come on, man. Achievement unlocked, excellent. So after this fight, I can show you exactly what that means. Okay. Oh, and I've completed the quest. Defend the base camp. Ah, now you see, I got a gem for that as well. Which would come in handy. Look at this, Tom. It looks like a map. Well, it actually looks like a bottle, but you know, those creepy creatures must have dropped it. Let's look around and see if we can find the missing pieces. Find the pieces of the pirate's map to reveal the location of the hidden treasure. Okay. Oh, and I've leveled up. Excellent. So, as you can now see, I can upgrade my equipment with, uh, with gold. I've got 164 gold. And this costs 160, convenient. I can also repair my shield for six gold, as you can see. I can also buy new emblems, runes, and amulets with gold, which will power me up and increase my abilities, but they cost a bit more than I have right now, so I'll leave it for now. For now, let's upgrade my armor, which will mean I take less damage. And this achievement button is shining, so if you press on this, play it safe, block or evade 15 attacks, Reward 150 gold. Boom, done. Easy peasy. And the quest button. Ah, uh, no, that's done. So, yeah, I'll repair my shield as well. Excellent. Okay, good. Map piece. Outstanding. Is it going to show me on the map where the map. No, okay. So, it's not showing me on the map where the pieces are, which is interesting. It means I have to do some old fashioned exploring. While I'm here, a Jura's magic chest costs to open 70 gold. Let's see what's inside. A silver prize. Watch it. So the magic chest will give you various helpful items. Whereas the golden chest, ancient chest even, my apologies, gives you the good stuff. Amulet of life, you found a piece of artifact. Now, if you collect all of these, you'll unlock the full artifact, and that's when things get really good. Here we go. So, Amulet of Life 
increases maximum health by 15. I can buy the whole artifact now for 23 gems, or I can continue collecting pieces. I'll leave it for now. Oh, more pieces of map. Here we go. Map piece. Map piece. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, excellent. Found a treasure chest. 60 gold and a f amulet fragment. Not a fragment, I would. Amulet of Life. Ah, excellent. See, I found the second piece of the Amulet of Life already. Yeah, look at that. See, there's a chest hidden under the waves. Any more bottles? Doesn't look like it. As bad as I feel about standing on these crabs, they are giving me delicious gold. So, yeah, don't really feel bad at all. Interesting. What's this? Look at that. It's got some kind of sea serpent on it. Considering I'm hunting a sea serpent at the moment. Is it mere coincidence? Oh, there's one. Four out of five. One more. We'll get there eventually. Oh, he's found it. Boom. We found all the pieces. We have. There's an X marked on the map. Let's see where it leads us. I am just rinsing these quests. Find the hidden treasure. Okay. Oh. Achievements all over the place. So now, ah, an X over here. Let's go. Let's go. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, here we go. It's a chest. Ah. A gem, a gold, and a potion. Excellent. Rest at base camp. Okay, can do. It's the easiest quest yet. Did you hear that, Tom? It's probably nothing. It's never nothing. Come on, guys. It's never nothing. What is it? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. <laughs> okay, Ham. Oh dear. So, this is Sephiroth the Sea Serpent, ladies and gentlemen. This is the beast we came to hunt. Quite nice of him to uh, make himself so readily accessible. Oof. So yes, we'll see that attack took two points off my shield. Because, well, I mean, look at it. It's big, strong. Oh, I'm going to use a potion. Heal! Make sure you save your potions for when you really need them. Block. And Sephiroth is down. Or is he? I should get back to camp and warn Elena. So we beat Sephiroth and we leveled up. But I had to use a potion in the process, which isn't ideal because they're always in short supply. I'll repair the shield and I will upgrade my armor again. So, back we go. Hmm. Maybe that rock was useful after all. Elena, you picked a fine time to go away. I heard horrible noises. You could have come and held, to be honest, you know. I've just fought Sam Prom, but he disappeared back into the sea. Okay, well, let's chase him down. Sam may have escaped, but the hilltop might provide a clear vantage point. That's very true. So, check them out. And we're heading over this way. Let's go. Up there. How are we supposed to get up the... Ooh, look what I found. 
Let's head up this way and see if this is where we're supposed to be going. Another Piranha Pirate to fight. I'm level 3 man, what you got? Nothing from the looks of it. Oof. Ow. Easy as pie. Oh, and another rune fragment. Excellent. Rune of the Warrior. Okay, what does this one do? Let's see. Increase the base attack damage by two. Ah, now that's very interesting. Also upgrade my shield, sword, in. and we carry on. Going up. How do I get up there? Oh, the birds in. Lots of XP, lots of gold. I like it. Seriously, though, look at this. The scale of this world is is. Ridiculous for an iPad, iOS, Android game. We've really outdone ourselves on this one. The fact that if you see it, you can probably go there, it's really impressive. Tap on the egg. Thank you. Here we go, look at this. Oh, there's a chest there. I'll make sure to get that. I don't see the beast. He must have escaped towards the open sea. Find a boat so you can cross the sea. Right, okay, I'll show you how rested works. So you'll see I don't have full health at the moment. Tap, rest, rest for the night, 50 gold. I don't have enough. Luckily, because I've got loads of gems, because developer account, there are some perks to this job. I'll just buy a load of coins. Rest for the night, 50 gold, yes, thank you. And just like that, I've got full health. Oh, I can upgrade something. Let's, ah, let's just upgrade everything, why not, right? And I've completed an achievement. Nice. Over this way. Oh, looks like there's a new character. <laughs> hey Elaine, you woke up early this morning. Who's your new friend? My name is Callum. You look worried. Well, there was a giant sea serpent. I haven't caught any fish for days. My father is stuck. Okay, that is pretty bad. It's the sea serpent. He used to guard the waters, but now he's scaring all the fish away. See, once nice, friendly beast has been turned evil by nasty wizard. It's the classic story. Come on, Elena. Let's see if we can help this boy find food. I left a spare fishing rod near the other pond. But be careful. Those fish pirates are lurking nearby. Okay. Catch some fish for the hungry villagers. Clear the area of the piranha pirates. Nice. Right, time to show you some fishing. Tap on the fishing button. And here we go. Pull now. Now, you'll see this slider at the top. What you've got to do is, oh, there we go. You've got to keep the lure in the green by using the right and left arrows. And if you do, you'll eventually catch a fish. 23 pounds, nice. Not sure why I'm catching river tuna from the sea, but shh. Keep it green, keep it green. Now you'll notice I'm getting small amounts of gold and 
experience from this. So if you're so inclined, you could just level up to like level 100 by fishing if you wanted. I'm not sure how in real life that would help you in combat, but this isn't real life. This is a video game. Excellent. One gem, 100 gold, 150 experience. If only fishing was as rewarding in the real world. Oh. I expect to be inundated with comments from angry fishermen any minute now. Speaking of angry fishermen, let's kill some piranha pirates. Hey buddy, how's it going? Dodge! Oh, come on mate, put your effort in. Dodge! Block, oh no, that was supposed to be a block. Nice. So in developing Beast Quest, we've tried to make it appeal to, to all ages. Obviously, the game is based on a series of children's books, so we need to make sure that it primarily appeal to the fans of the books. Um, hopefully, the, the fans will appreciate all the characters that they recognise, all the beasts that they've read about, uh, and, and they'll really enjoy getting the chance to explore these worlds that previously have only existed in their imaginations. However, We've tried to make it both simple enough for the young fans to play, but interesting enough for maybe their parents or their older brothers and sisters, or just someone interested in playing a good open world RPG on their phone or tablet. You don't need to know anything about Beast Quest to enjoy it, but you'll certainly appreciate all the references and all the characters that you've previously read about. Approaches. I wonder if the Piranha Pirates like tell stories of the Slayer Tom. The end that comes for them all. They whisper it in hushed tones. He who must not be spoken of. Tom. If he comes for you, run. Tom is coming. Or maybe they just speak in like Piranha language. I don't know. Anyway, we've taken down the bad guys, we've caught some fish, so let's go back to this little guy who, you know, could have done his own fishing to be honest. I am way too nice to this guy. Here you go, this is what we could find. This is great, how can I repair you? Do your own fishing next time. We were hoping you might let us borrow that boat, or that. The boat's badly damaged, but maybe you could help me repair it. Or maybe you could repair it, seeing as I just fished you your dinner. This kid really needs to put, you know, put some elbow grease in. Oh well. Just dump everything on Tom again. Right, let's find some tar and some strong wood. Easy enough. And neither of those things are monsters that will fight back when I attack them. I hope. So, the grove. Where is the grove? Let's go exploring. Uh, you'll notice along the bottom of the screen the level bar. So, I'm level 3 at the moment with 648 out of 660 experience points needed to level up. So the next thing I fight should level me up. Let's do it. Hey buddy. Tom, he comes. Just like that. See, he was only level one, so he went down without much of a fight. And ta-da, level four, right. We upgrade armor. Always go for armor first, I say, because you know it means you live long. Right. So we're in the enchanted grove. So we need to find what was it? Wood and well, logs and sticky tar. Okay. Take down this guy first. Dodge. Double. If only I dodged every time I actually said dodge, I'd be a lot better at this, there we go. Dodge, no. This is what I mean, there's that very slight cooldown after you finish attacking before you can dodge. So you do need to be careful, if you just hammer on the attack button, you are going to get hit in response. Anyway, these look like logs. They are logs, hooray! Oh, and a chest. My lucky day. Oh, yes, another amulet fragment. What is it this time? Amulet of life, excellent, that's three out of four pieces already, see? That's another palm log. Let's get another gold from flowers. Oh, I think I accidentally used a potion. Oh well. Never mind. 
Oh, and another chest. Look at this. On it today. Ah, excellent. And a potion. Fantastic. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so that ah, more logs, brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, and this looks like the tar I need. Sticky tar, logs. Logs. Oh, excellent, that's the timber quest completed. <coughs> oh! And another treasure chest. So you'll notice there that there were sparks coming out of the wall. So I tapped on the wall a few times and voila, a treasure chest appeared. That's what I mean when I say there are tons of little secrets in this game. It really pays to kind of keep an eye out and, and look at your surroundings because you can find tre you know, treasures and secrets like that. It's really awesome. Collect 10 coconuts, nice. You'll also see how the achievements basically reward you for doing everything, it's good. You get a nice sense of fulfillment and completion, I suppose. Anyway, that's all you get for now. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more Beast Quest soon, and I'll continue on in my adventures.